Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Maeve, and today we're finally getting back into this Gotham City Sirens build. Uh, so you're going to see on the first floor all the pink and blue. Um, that's going to be for Harley, so her bedroom is on that first floor. And then there's just like a lot of party items there. And then on the second floor, we also have like a home theater, a spa, um, like a, a workout room, and a uh, basketball court. And so it's, uh, it's also going to have Catwoman's room on that floor. And then on the third floor, I did like a library and computer room and a ginormous science lab and a greenhouse and then just a big, beautiful balcony. And that, of course, is for Poison Ivy. And I felt like Poison Ivy had to have the third floor. I decided that before I even started building because I, I wanted to give her this greenhouse and I thought uh, she's going to need the most open air. Uh, but actually each floor has its own private balcony for the person who sleeps on that floor um, so Harley has her own par uh, private balcony as well as like a public a couple of actually um, you know guest balcony areas and then Catwoman has a small balcony area of her own which actually I specifically designed the second floor so that her balcony would overlook the moon rise so that's gonna be really beautiful and I can't wait to do the cinematic tour so that we can see how that looks um, but then like I said Ivy has the most balcony space and that's gonna be on the top floor and um, that's also going to be accessible by the guests and like not just through her bedroom um, but anyway so last time I left off about halfway through the second floor and you can see here I'm still working on the second floor um, but the reason that I waited so long between my last uh, video footage of this penthouse and and this current video um, is actually because when I was building before I kept on having my game crash and I couldn't figure out what was going on and so I just kind of rage quit for a while like I just put this entire build on the back burner and uh, just decided to come back to it later and so I think I didn't even look at this build for like six weeks maybe and then I finally got back into it but um it turned out the reason my game was I'm so embarrassed y'all the reason my game was crashing was because I had recorded so much footage of this build that it had completely filled up my hard drive and so it was actually messing with the game's ability to run on my machine and the only reason I even discovered this was um I finally, I finally got around to buying the rest of the packs, not all at once, but you know, it was a long period of time and we had a sale that lasted several weeks. And uh, I finally got around to completing my collection. So I actually currently, as of the time of this recording, I own um, everything that The Sims 4 has to offer. And um, that will no longer be true when Cottage Living comes out, but uh, that's not gonna happen for at least, uh, what, I think two weeks. So for two more weeks, I own everything in The Sims 4. Uh, but anyway, I had installed the last of those packs and I went to load my game and then it was like, um, I got an error message saying that my hard drive was so full that it was going to interfere with my game performance. And that was when I had the epiphany of like, oh, that's why. And I went and looked on my hard drive and sure enough, I had all this build footage that I had forgotten to move over. So that was embarrassing, but I figured it out and uh, was able to continue on this build, although I'm still not done with it. But anyway, here is one feature of the build that I'm really proud of. I'm working on like an art gallery. I was talking to my sibling who is a big DC comics fan and uh, they were telling me that if I'm going to make a floor devoted to Catwoman, she needs to have a place to show off all of her little treasures that she's stolen throughout her cat burglar career so um i know usually catwoman is very into like jewelry like she's usually after the jewelry but i actually decided to go into the gallery and download some cc free art 
by some more famous painters. So um, I've got like the Van Gogh and the Monet and I've got um, some Georgia O'Keeffe and of course Frida Kahlo. I love Frida Kahlo so much. Uh, she's a fashion icon and uh, such a beautiful artist and um, I respect her as an activist and she's just amazing or was just amazing. But anyway, um, so that's what you're looking at now is that I'm going in here and uh, downloading this uh, CC free art from the gallery and um, I also filled up those pedestals inside that, that uh, showcase I guess if you want to call it that. Um, so I'm putting all the art inside that showcase and then I also filled up the pedestals inside with a lot of like debug or decorative items that just looked like they could be stolen artifacts or um, you know some of the crystals that you can find in the game um, or like gemstones or whatever and um, you know those little skulls for like Dia de Muertos? I decided to throw some of those in. I thought they looked really nice with Frida Kahlo's self-portrait and um, I don't know I'm just I'm really proud of this little showcase that I created for Catwoman and I'm so thankful to my sibling for encouraging me to make something like this because I never would have thought of it. Um, so anyway that's what I'm working on now and um, Oh, what else is there to talk about? Um, this build has been such a process and there's still so much more to do. So like at the time that I'm recording, I actually have not done anything with this build beyond what you'll see by the end of this video. Um, so basically the way that I did this was if you had watched my last video, you already know, but um, I, I went through the catalog and I just picked out all the large furniture items that I thought would go well in this build uh, that made sense for a penthouse and made sense for these characters. And then I sort of divided them up into rooms based on like who those items were for or what room that they would belong in or whatever. And then I just got to building and planning the layout just kind of based on those items that I had picked out. So what you're seeing here is that, um, you know, I'm creating the layout and I'm placing the furniture, but I haven't really done a lot of decorating and I haven't done like, um, I, I haven't placed any like floor tiles or wall tiles, you know, it's just, you know, the floors and the walls in this build are for the most part just blank canvases. And um, I also haven't placed any wall decor except for, of course, this little showcase that I'm working on here. Um, but so that's all stuff that I've yet to do. So I've, I've completed the layout by now. Um, by the end of this video, you'll see that the layout is complete, um, but I still have to go through and do all the decorating and the cluttering and um, I don't know, it's just, it feels like there's still so much to do, but it really is almost done. So there's going to be one more video where I go through kind of just decorating. That really is my favorite part um, of building is um, doing the decor and the clutter and just kind of making it look more like a home and less of like just a floor plan, which is kind of what I'm doing here. Um, so yeah, you're going to see the video of, you know, decorating and then after that you're also going to see a separate video that is going to be like my cinematic tour or as I like to call them, fly throughs. So we've still got two more videos to go on this build, but I'm really looking forward to being able to post that tour. I think this is going to end up being my most impressive build yet. Um, but it's just such a large build and it's been uh, really frustrating some parts of it, especially, you know, building with limited packs and then coming back after having installed all those new packs was um, an experience, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, so here we're working on Catwoman's balcony and I did change this up a few times. So you, you saw before where I had like these windows placed, like I had sized them up, um, but they didn't look right um, because of the actual like window cutout. 
Um, so I had to replace that with like the, the wall dividers, which I think came from either dine out or eco lifestyle. Um, but now we are still on the second floor, but we're in like the, the, I guess I call this like the second floor landing where you've got like this bar and then the entrance to the theater. Um, but now we're on the third floor finally. So, um, this tree, this like glowing purple tree. Um, so in order to get that item, you have to go into the buy catalog and it's like a little stump with like holes in it and then if you go into the debug menu you have like these little like seeds or whatever that have to be placed into those holes and then you have your sim um interact with the tree or, or with the tree stump i should say and then it like turns into this tree and so uh, when I move my, you know, my Gotham City Sirens into this build, then Ivy will actually be able to like go into this tree and then when she comes out, she'll be a plant sim. So I thought that was really cool and like maybe it lends something to the story and ties into like the entire theme. Um, but I also just like wanted to put a tree on the balcony because it's this sort of like impossible thing that I felt like only Ivy would be able to figure out how to make a tree grow on a rooftop, right? Like where are the roots even? Like you have all these branches and like where are the roots of this tree? Um, but I also put this beautiful fountain out there which I can't wait to get some screenshots of and um, I don't know I'm, I'm really happy with how the third floor came out and especially the science lab which you're gonna see here in a minute but um, so I, I started on the science lab and um, I was kind of pleased with it and then I was looking at the rest of the floor plan not really knowing what to do with it and then I just had this thought that I wanted to make the science lab bigger and it ended up taking up like probably like half of the interior of the third floor if you don't count the greenhouse this science lab ended up being enormous and because there's all these pets in the household I decided to put a lot of like veterinary items in there um, but you're also gonna have a lot of like eco lifestyle items and just like um, science stuff in general so I'm not exactly sure how functional this lab is gonna be like it's gonna everything is routable um, but I'm just not sure if there are like items in this lab um, that can't be used unless you have other items like from the same pack like um, like I noticed that um, some of the veterinary equipment like you had to have the exam table before you could use one of the other veterinary items. Um, and so I don't know what other items might be like that or like what other packs might be like that. Um, and I got to the point where I was just kind of like throwing everything in there. In fact, I, I deconstructed and reconstructed this lab like three times and the the second like the second and third time um i didn't even capture it on video so like you're looking at what i have for the lab right now and then like later on it's just gonna suddenly be bigger and and like you won't have seen me actually change it um but this is the greenhouse it's really basic right now uh, I did end up adding some items to the greenhouse off camera also. There was actually a lot that I did with this build off camera, if you can believe that. As much footage as I'm showing you, there was actually way, way more. Um, this is the library, which I also ended up rebuilding a few times. Um, because right now where I'm putting all those bookshelves, uh, the, the science lab actually ends up being like extended into that area. So I ended up having to like completely remove those shelves and uh, then I like put them in somewhere else. But here you're looking at like a little closet I created and then I put like the vanity in there and a little mirror and um, I'm going to start working on the bathroom area pretty soon, which like I gave her instead of a bathtub, I did this hot tub idea uh, where it's like actually sunken into the platform and I think I play tested it and it was functional. I think I play tested it, but I don't fully remember it. Um, but 
I'll make sure and play test it again before I put this on the gallery because I'm, I'm not going to put anything on the gallery that your sims can't use at all. Like you might have an item in the build that, um, that your sim needs to use other items before they can use that item, whether they, you know, whether it's like a skill building object that they have to get up to a certain skill or, or it's a career object or whatever. Like you might have items like that. Um, but I'll never put items in a build that are like not accessible at all by your sims um so anyway um i'm working on see now you can see where the um the lab has been expanded and is now like almost twice as big as it was before and i'm replacing these bookshelves it was really difficult to figure out how to place these shelves in this weirdly shaped room but i kind of had to shape the room that way because there was some kind of a glitch with the way the shadows were falling and i know that it has something to do with like the stairs and the platforms and the stuff that that's going on on the floor right below it um, and I decided to just work my design around it rather than trying to fight with it um, but anyway here you see I'm trying to put in like a coffee bar uh, which ends up having to be a tea bar because um, I couldn't make the espresso maker and the espresso grinder work on these counters the way that I had like stacked them inside each other basically um, because the OMSPs were like not happy with each other when I intersected more than one counter in one tile. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this, uh, this build portion is just about done. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. We're about to get into just a, a little brief look at the layout just in case you didn't see the first video or I know there were some things that just didn't make it into the first video also so um, enjoy having a look at that and I hope that you will join me for the next video and in the meantime just you know be kind to yourself be kind to others always remember to stay hydrated and I'll see you next time bye